These are your top stories tonight on Volt News Network. Part 2. Chinese President Xi Jinping has landed in San Francisco, California to attend the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit, and U.S. President Joe Biden is slated to meet with him in what is being referred to as a high-stakes meeting. United States and Chinese relations have deteriorated significantly in the past year, with government selling, import, export and corporate restrictions coming from both nations. Some modest progress is expected, such as the resumption of military-to-military -military dialogue. They may also announce a joint agreement to ban certain artificial intelligence technologies in military applications. China will push for tariff reductions and relax technology controls from the U.S. The United States seeks to strengthen communication channels and cooperation on issues like fentanyl trafficking. Both sides recognize the importance of maintaining dialogue, even if concrete outcomes are limited in order to manage tensions and prevent conflicts from escalating. North Korea says it has successfully conducted static engine tests of a new type of solid fuel engine for its intermediate-range ballistic missiles. The tests are part of North Korea's ongoing efforts to modernize its ballistic missile capabilities in violation of United Nations sanctions. Concerns are growing about military cooperation between North Korea and Russia, as the United States has stated North Korea is sending weapons to Russia for use in Ukraine. South Korea also believes Russia is providing space technology to allegedly help North Korea launch a military spy satellite. This comes after a weeks-long set of trips from North Korean and Russian leaders to each other's countries. South Korean officials have indicated they believe North Korea maintains ties with Hamas and could use similar terrorist tactics like indiscriminate attacks on civilians. President Biden hosted Indonesian President Joko Widodo at the White House, marking the start of a new strategic partnership between the United States and Indonesia. Biden called it a new era in the relationship with the Oceanic country. The two leaders met for afternoon tea and talks with advisors to expand trade and cooperation, especially in critical minerals like nickel used for electric batteries. Indonesia is the largest nickel producer. Widodo sees improving education as key to Indonesia's development and believes stronger ties with the United States could yield benefits given America's global influence. These are your top stories tonight. This has been Volt News Network. Good night.